Hello YouTube, this is the Fat Guy and I'm here with another video. I am very sorry that I didn't upload this video yesterday, but I had a lot to do and I couldn't get around to it. So to make up for it, I didn't touch any of this product. None of it's listed, none of it's photographed. I didn't do nothing with this product. You are the first ones to see this on my YouTube channel. Cause I, I mean, except for the people in my life right now. So we'll see what happens. But uh, a little explanation, Sundays, uh, because it's their 90th anniversary, Goodwill's have been doing a 90 cent collar tag uh, every week. So their 50% tag of the week will become their 90 cent tag of the Sunday. So it's only a one day sell. And it's any, uh, it's all that collar, any product. I checked and I didn't see non-clothing non items to pick up, so I just picked up clothing. Uh, one piece here I did pay full price for. Uh, and I'll show it to you, but everything else was 90 cents. At the end, I'm going to show you two, a few images, if the camera will pick them up, of uh, my before and after. But overall, I spent about $26, $27 for everything. <clears throat> Sorry about that. <clears throat> so let's get on to the first piece. That is the only piece I paid full price for. And it is a Peanuts branded pajama top, size large. And it's really, really cool. It shows the whole gang in multiple scenarios, uh, especially Snoopy. I see Snoopy everywhere. Snoopy is always. And a really cool piece. Uh, local place sells these for uh, $2 for one piece, $3 for two. Since it was a one piece, it was two bucks. But hell, I'll pick that up for $2 all day long. Uh, now let's get to the 90 cent stuff. Uh, unless it has a paper tag like this, it was a base price. So I do not know exactly what their base prices are because I rarely shop there except on a Sunday. So I normally don't care about their base price. But I think it was like a shirt's like three or three fifty. I think pants are like three, three fifty, something like that. I think jeans are like five bucks. I'm not sure. But uh, if you see a paper tag, that means they wrote a price tag on it, and I'll tell you the price tag on this tag. But my first piece I'm going to show you is a Calvin Klein uh, size sixteen. Calvin Klein. I love Calvin Klein stuff. His stuff, I sell his stuff okay. Uh, they originally wanted $7 for it, but I paid $0.90. Cents. I'm going to scoop my chair up a minute. And then uh, next piece is just a simple Union, uh, I think this is a Union Bay. Let me make sure. Yeah, uh, Union Bay Medium. But it's just a nice short sleeve front button. 90 cents I'll take it. It's getting warmer weather, so people are definitely going to be wanting those soon. Uh, this I got because <clears throat> it's a 2XL Margaritaville sweater. Really hard to tell it's Margaritaville. Also has a little emblem here on the back. It's really cool. Margaritaville, I'll take it for 90 cents. <clears throat> uh, next is a woman's piece. Again, all these clothes are just shoved into three different bags from Goodwill, so it's all mixed. Uh, but I picked up this really cool looking uh, chunky style uh, top. Really cool looking. I thought, you know, I'm not, I'll gamble 90 cents on that. Easy. Uh, next is an Adidas activewear pants. See, nice. Adidas. Really long. I think these are an XL. They originally wanted 10 bucks for them. But I got it for 90 cents. Next. Sorry, that was my phone. Next is a Hawk. So I think this is just a Tony Hawk. Uh, men's, I believe it's a men's large. 90 cents, I'll take it. Again, it's a front button short sleeve shirt. Uh, they're not a very expensive brand, but I'll take it. Uh, this is another piece. You know, I got it for 90 cents. It's a Disney Vintage 2 pajama pants. I don't know what I can get for these, but I'm hoping at least $9.99 free shipping. They're very light, so they'll go first class. So, you know, these were originally two bucks. I know that. But 90 cents, I'll take it. And it has a nice silhouetted, you know, Mickey on uh, black and polka dot as well. Really cool piece. Um, next is uh, something I'm trying to get more into is uh, bikinis. Uh and swimwear I got this really cool uh, sorry my computer is about to fall asleep really cool 
uh, red, white, and blue top and bottom. Again, it is also Old Navy, but I pay 90 cents for the set. Um, I'll probably get a, I mean, unless this print is like old and some people actually want it. Um, I'm only expecting like $9.99 free shipping out of it. So not a large profit, but I will definitely pick it up. Uh, next piece is a nice top and bottom of uh, another swimwear. Hold on, let me undo this because it got tangled up. Here's the top. <clears throat> you know, nice floral design. It's from a brand called Sessa. Uh, I'm not big into swimwear. I hope it's a good one. And it just comes with a basic brown bottom. Uh, again, 90 cents for the pair. Haven't done no research, but I'm hoping at least 9.99 free shipping. Again, uh, this is really lightweight. It'll go first class. I'll definitely pick those up. And the reason why I'm picking those up is because I've been trying to get into a lot of swimwear. I normally cannot find it. Uh, in my area, it's not very abundant. Uh, yes, there is swimwear, but no, it's not good swimwear. Uh, you know, I see a lot of Fruit of the Loom. I see a lot of, you know, Old Navy, OP, uh, and stuff like that. So it's a little hard to get good swimwear. And especially when it gets to summer, it's really hard. So I'm just trying to pick it up a little early and see what I can get. Uh, next is an American Eagle Outfitters jean. I love American Eagle Outfitters. Uh, when it comes to their jeans, because uh, I do sell these and okay this is a lot smaller though than the last pair i had so i don't know if i'll get quite as much but we'll see this is a 30 30 a 33 30 worker jean but they originally wanted eight dollars for it so i'll definitely pick that up for 90 cents uh next is a just a simple nike fit dry orange and white shirt they originally wanted six dollars for it uh but i paid 90 cents i'll gladly pay 90 cents for those i love nike fit dry uh here's another nike fit dry uh they originally wanted seven dollars for this one but this one actually has a nice little graphic on the front you know nike graphic green and white very cool we'll see what happens but i'm Normally Nike Fit Dries, I just list for like $9.99 free shipping and see what happens. Because it is slightly flooded, but it's still good money. Next is these really cool, these look a little short though. Uh, size XL Nike active wear pants. Uh, they originally wanted 6 bucks for them. Sorry, the, it's not really catching it too well. There we go. 6 bucks. Uh, I paid 90 cents, and they're just really cool black and white classic activewear pants. So it's really, really good. Next, I believe this is probably one of my better finds. I see some of the bigger thrifters that do clothing that watch find a pair of these. I have not found a pair, and today, yesterday I found a pair. It is a Marie Francis Jabad. See if you can get that tag. Yeah, Jabad. I think they're doing well. Uh, this is just a blue brand X authentic fit Mer I hope they're real but uh, just black really big jean well not really big these are a size 36 L uh, they originally wanted $12 and I got it for 90 cents I will gladly take these jerbods I know I'm fucking butchering that like crazy but really cool jean for 90 cents that's probably one of my better finds today i think uh next is just because i do i like the brand and i don't find their jeans often uh abercrombie and fitch uh just a basic size 27 35 uh jean they originally wanted 15 for it sorry but I paid 90 cents. So I will gladly pick those up. Next is just a basic pair of ooh la la's. Uh, don't know much about these jeans at all, but I thought they looked cool enough for, you know, 90 cents to do it. Uh, you know, they have some whiskering, I think is what the term is on the front. They have some bejeweling or whatever you call that on the pockets. 
Really cool looking pair of jeans. I believe someone will probably be really happy on those. And I'll gladly pay 90 cents for those as well. Uh, again, ah, here's another Abercrombie and Fitch pair of jeans. Uh, 2631s. These are kind of small. Uh, they originally wanted 10 bucks for it, but I paid 90 cents. You know, Abercrombie & Fitch, just a mall brand, but some people really like it. Uh, and I do find their stuff around here a little bit, because I do have a couple stores in town. I think I have like one in the mall. So, it's not great, but it's still good for 90 cents. Uh, next is a Ralph Lauren Golf front button short sleeve shirt uh this does have a paper tag of six dollars and i paid 90 cents so not a bad savings uh next item this is just a express 1mx medium front button long sleeve uh just solid green again nothing fancy but I still like getting them. That, you know, front buns are lightweight. They're usually sought after, and I usually get about $9.99 free shipping on most of them. So I will gladly pay $0.90 cents to get one on uh, my front buns. Um, next, and I'm running out of clothes here, so I think I'm almost out. Uh, no, I got a few more. Next is a Shaw Safari. Never heard of them. Shaw safari never heard of them uh but i picked this up mainly on the design it is a men's front button sorry my phone went off again men's front button but i like the color scheme you know purples blues size large really cool short sleeve shirt 90 cents i'll take it uh next piece sorry uh, this is just a Magellan Sportswear. Long sleeve. Front button shirt. Still not bad. You know, 90 cents. I will definitely take these for 90 cents. Uh, I've been trying to get some more men's clothes. Because recently I got me a male mannequin. And I, it's making some of these clothes just look a lot better. Uh, next is a really cool piece I thought was... Uh, worth getting this is a pro weight brand uh but usually pro weight just sells blank shirts and they put and people put their own graphic on it i thought it was cool you know it's a gw ra 1977 hold on sorry 1977 is when it was a stated you know it just shows it's just really cool looking graphic long sleeve uh, size large, 90 cents. I'll take that gamble because I thought that looked really cool. Uh, I'm trying to make sure if these are old stock or new stock. I don't see a tag. So these are probably old stock. Sorry about that. So it looks like I'm down to my final piece. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like I just did a whole lot, but at 90 cents, it does add up. But here is one of my, you know, also a really cool find. Uh, and this is a really nice trench coat from London Fog. And it looks like it still has the liner in it. Uh, here's the liner and it does zip up around it. Uh, they originally wanted $25 for this. Uh, this does have its belt. It does have the nice trench coat style. I love these trench coats. I've sold some of these in the past for some good money. Uh, and my definition of good money is someone else's definition of good money. I live in a smaller town. I don't live in a big city. And a lot of people around here don't get a lot of the more expensive brands unless they buy it online. There are some people who do, and I've seen it around, but it's usually priced at resale value high-end brands. So... Finding some good pieces, classic pieces like this is really nice. I don't know if London Fog is a great brand, but I have sold some of the these jackets before for some good money. This is a low, uh, uh, size 4 petite. You know, just really cool trench coat jacket. Uh, coat, whatever you want to call it. Trench coat. 
90 cents and they originally wanted $25. I will gladly take that budget. Now I'm going to try to show you a couple of, uh, images uh, of my receipt, not my receipts, but of my uh, purchases there. And I got to show, okay, here we go. Okay. I did two different transactions. The first transaction, I don't know which one was which. I think I got the um, the trench coat and the four, three or four Nike pieces. Uh, they were one transaction, and then everything else you saw was one other. The before the discount, everything was supposed to be a hundred and nine feet. Uh, sorry, you can't really see that too well. It just really doesn't want to work. There we go. A hundred and nine dollars and fifty cents, uh, and I spent twenty dollars and ninety cents. Okay, it's not really going to work on the camera. I'm sorry, so I'm just going to show you or tell you what I spent. Second transaction was supposed to cost me seventy five dollars, and I paid six dollars and thirty cents. So I so was supposed to spend over almost a hundred and eighty dollars in retail, and I spent twenty six bucks. That is a good day for me. Yes, I know ninety cent days. I'm always going to save money, but I got some really good pieces I normally can't get at the Goodwills because as you saw, they do price it up, and I won't make any money. But at ninety cents, I'll grab them all day long. And I will list them on my eBay page. I've got Nike, Jerbod, London Bog. I got a bunch of good brands. A bunch of uh, okay quality. There's probably a lot of shelf filler. But I didn't pay too much. It was a fun day thrifting. I spent like an hour in the store. It was hilarious. I loved the 90 cent day. I hope they keep it. Uh, but we will see. But this is the fat guy. And this is my Sunday Goodwill haul video for you guys. And I hope everybody loves these videos. I am done with this video and I am out of here for now.